If you're used to working on a PC, this video will show you some of the basic differences between using Windows and Mac OS X. Once you get to know the fundamentals, you'll find that it doesn't take long to get familiar with the Mac. The functions you're used to accessing from the Windows Start menu and Taskbar are divided between the Apple menu at the top left of the screen and the dock at the bottom. The dock is a row of icons that provide one-click shortcuts to many of the things on your hard drive. These icons give you access to the programs or applications on your Mac. Just click an icon to run the application. When you do, a light appears underneath the icon to tell you that it's running. You can add any of your applications to the dock for easy access. To do that, open a Finder window and click on Applications in the sidebar. Select an application and drag it down to the dock. To remove an item, just drag it from the dock to an empty area of your desktop. But don't worry, this doesn't delete the original item that's still on your hard drive. On the right, just beyond the dividing line, you'll see three stacks, which are shortcuts to folders on your hard drive. The first is for your applications. Click on it to see all of the programs in your Applications folder. Click on the Documents stack, and you'll see everything in your Documents folder. Then just click on any item to open it. And finally, click on the Downloads stack to see all of your recent downloads. The right side of the dock also holds your minimized windows, just like the Windows taskbar. To minimize a window, click the yellow button and it'll be sent to the dock. To open the window again, just click its icon. The green button will maximize the window to show as much content as possible. To close the window, just click the red button at the top left. The trash is at the far right side of the dock. To delete an item, just drag it to the trash, as you would the recycle bin on Windows. To empty the trash, select Empty Trash from the Finder menu at the top of the screen. If you're used to working with a two-button mouse on a PC, you'll feel right at home on the Mac. On most items, right-clicking, or what we call secondary-clicking, will bring up a small menu of additional options. You can right-click using an Apple Mighty Mouse or virtually any other USB mouse. If you have a single-button mouse, you can do the same thing by hitting the Control key when you click the mouse button. And on Macs with multi-touch trackpads, you can right-click by putting two fingers on the pad as you click. For example, to empty the trash, you can use the Finder menu, or you can just right-click on the trash icon in the dock. When you run a program on Windows, the menus for that program are contained inside of its window. On the Mac, programs are called applications, and when you launch one, its menus always appear at the top of the screen in the menu bar. It's easy to know which application you're currently using because its name will be next to the apple at the top left. And when you switch applications, the name switches too, so you'll always know what application you're currently running. Quitting applications is a little different on the Mac. You can close document windows by clicking on the red button, but unlike the PC, it doesn't quit the application. To quit an application entirely, select Quit from its menu at the top of the screen. The menu shows you the keyboard shortcut too, Command-Q. You'll also find that many of the keyboard shortcuts that you use every day, like Copy, Paste, and Print, are the same. Just use the Command key instead of the Control key. In Windows, you press Alt and Tab together to switch between running programs. On the Mac, press Command and Tab together to do exactly the same thing. On Windows, you use Windows Explorer to view, organize, and manage your files. On a Mac, you use the Finder. To open a Finder window, just click on the Finder icon. It's always the first icon in the dock. On the left side of the Finder window is the sidebar. It gives you access to hard drives and other attached devices, shared or networked items, common places, 
and an area containing smart searches for recently created items, images, movies, and documents. Across the top of each Finder window are the View buttons. You can see the contents of any folder as a group of icons, a text list, in Column View, or using CoverFlow. CoverFlow lets you flip through documents like you flip through albums in iTunes, making it easy to spot the files you're looking for. Just tap the spacebar to preview any kind of document, even a video, without having to open it. With just a little time, you'll find that learning the Mac is easy and fun. To learn more about using the Mac, visit apple.com slash findouthow.